Hi guys, greetings from London. Today we want to spoil you a bit with an amazing interview at one of the most prestigious hotels in the world, The Ritz. Ben Dalton is an alumni from Glion who currently holds the position of reception manager at the hotel. Let's see what we can learn from him. Hi Ben. Hi, good to see you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to The Ritz. Shall we? Great. Um, so, can you brief us a little bit on the hotel? Why is it so special? Well, there are there are many reasons that make the hotel so special. But um, you know, just its history in itself. It's been open over a hundred years. It was opened by the, you know, the king of hoteliers um, himself, Cesar Ritz. Um, it's also just you know within London. You know, it's one of the top five star hotels and still um, owned by a British family, independently owned. Um, and that sort of family thread runs through. Um, throughout the hotel, so within the, you know, the staff team. You've got uh, the concierge, so Michael de Cosa and Louis de Cosa have been here combined 80 years or something ridiculous. Um, you know, and I think that sort of breeds a sense of um, trust and familiarity to the guests as well, um, a sense of security, which I think is nice. You started as a management trainee and now you have reached uh, the position of reception manager. Um, can you tell us a little bit what your responsibilities are? Um, my responsibilities, in essence, are just to make sure that the, you know, my team um, of sort of 17 staff, they're, you know, headed in the same direction every day, um, and to try to make sure that we're hitting our budgetary targets, that, you know, get sent monthly and annually, um, and that the standards, the strict standards that we have for, you know, that attaining the highest possible quality of service, testing, constantly training, um, and, you know, making sure everything is perfect. Um, I, I actually spend a lot of my day is spent in, in training. So, uh, you know, that's, we have this sort of idea that really nobody should be on the desk until, um, you know, until they, uh, they are completely comfortable with any question that might be pitched to them. Um, obviously that's a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so how, how is the team structure? Um, so we have a team of 17 people. Um, 13 receptionists and switchboard agents. So the switchboard team uh, work within the reception department. So we do a lot of interchanging of tasks and they assist with a lot of the front office um, duties. Um, you, you've then got four supervisors that, um, that make me look good on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> um, but I, it's important to note that it, all the receptionists, we don't hire any supervisors externally. We just have not every single one of our Supervisors have, um, have been grown out of um, the team that we have existing. So anybody that we hire is, you know, somebody that we can see progressing in the hotel and that we want to develop. So Sebastian Kanura is the front office manager, and I report directly into him. Um, he looks after uh, five different departments. He's, he looks after the salon, the butlers, the concierge team, the assistant managers, and reception as well. Um, so he's a lot of responsibility, but I report into him. Typical day look like. Uh, well, my typical day starts with a rather large cup of coffee. <laughs> um, we start, you know, very we, early bird catches the worm. Essentially, we I'm here by seven o'clock each day, um, which sounds difficult, but actually it's, it makes the day a lot easier because um, it's all about preparation. The only way that we're going to succeed in getting everything right is by being prepared in the morning. So uh, we do a handover in the morning at seven. Um, and I essentially am building my knowledge about what's going to happen that day until the nine o'clock morning meeting where I'm going to sit in front of a whole bunch of people, um, you know, heads of departments and the hotel manager who are all going to be asking lots and lots of questions in bullet, you know, bullet speed and I've got to be able to, um, to try and sound like I know what I'm talking about, um, which is um, a challenge. <laughs> Um, the, but from there, from there it's easy. So uh, from there it's just, you know, it's the day. So we're, um, we're dealing with guests, you know, we're organising for the next day, we're, you know, doing VIP arrivals, we're checking rooms, you know, we're doing trainings. Um, the nice thing about it is that um, we, we know where we're starting the day, but we genuinely have no idea where we're going to end up at the end of it, which is what makes it so much fun. Yeah, I can imagine. 
And um, in these meetings, you, you were saying that you were asked some questions. Which, which type of questions, like, do head of departments ask you, or you? Oh, you'll get, you could get you could get anything from you know whether a certain you know bathroom has a stall shower or <laughs> the colour scheme in a particular on the drapes um, to you know the type of coffee that a particular guest likes that hasn't been updated in the profile um, and what you've done to ensure that he gets offered the right thing. Um, okay. Generally, we get it right, yeah. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> but uh, you know if. The most powerful um, answer in your arsenal is, um, I don't know, but I will check that and get back to you shortly. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go back to the... Exactly, program. exactly. <laughs> and then type out the email. From your opinion, which, which ones would you think are the skills to have in order to perform well in reception or to become a good reception manager? Well, I think it's, it's fairly obvious that reception, you have to enjoy people. I mean, you have a dynamic team that you work with, you know, that sort of you're interchanging with, but, uh, um, and, but you're, you are guest fronting, you know, 90% of the time you're in the front. Um, so you have to be able to um, enjoy people. Um, but I'd say significantly, you, uh, you have to be able to, en to enjoy challenges. So, uh, and not just enjoy them, but thrive under the pressure <laughs> of a challenge. So at, a, at any given moment, we might have five minutes, um, you know, a five minute warning that you're gonna have five suites arriving, you know, in a private air, you know, airplane, and then we have to get everything ready with all these specials and the correct colored drapes. Um, and uh, that all has to look seamlessly. So we have to be paddling our feet um, under the desk, but on the top has to be completely calm. So. Um, mm. That's the challenge, and you have to enjoy it. Yeah. So, what do you like the most about your job? Um, what I like most about it is, I mean, it's really what we were talking about. It's the uh, the fact that you every day is different. You, um, you know, if I wanted to be sitting behind a desk all day long, um, um, I'd be, I guess, I'd be doing that job. But um, the fun thing about this is, what well, from the day I've started, and the reason I'm still here after four years, is that. Every person you meet is different, you know, all their stories are different. Um, and, you know, through the day you have no idea where you're going to end up. So um, yeah. it, uh, it does make it exciting, it makes it different um, and challenging. It's just they call the Ritz their, their home in London. Um, and I think it's uh, they, that they've been doing, they've been staying here over the years um, for the very particular reason that, uh, of the discretion that they know they'll receive uh, when staying here. But no, you, you cannot tell me anyone, right? Well, apart from the Kate Middleton lookalike. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's, what's your best memory here at the Ritz? Well, I sound like such an old man if I say I've been here four years and I, <laughs> I can't... <laughs> oh, looking back, but um, my, my, well, my most recent memory actually is my, uh, my granddad um, came over from New York just the other day and um, he, we had a reservation for lunch with my mother at the Ritz restaurant. Um, 12.30 reservation, and I'm I was working, so I couldn't, I couldn't join them, but I, um, I, I remember looking at my watch and going, it's five o'clock in the afternoon, <laughs> and wondering where they were, because they were meant to stop by, and I walk back, and they've got these waiters under the table, kind of trying to, you know, suggest that hey, maybe you should be moving on, um, and uh, they just had an absolute hoot. I think they served them 14 courses or something. Um, and he, has, he hasn't stopped talking about it since. Um, the kind of, and it, it, it does, it's kind of the beauty of a place like this is that, you know, you've got, you can enjoy it with family and friends and um, yeah. kind of makes it very special. Ben, thank you very much for your time. It has been an absolute pleasure. So we wish you all the best. And guys, if you want to find out more about the Ritz, check its profile and openings on Husko. And see you next time for another great interview on Husko TV. Bye-bye.